this Kenya tree? This knob here controls your power. All right. Water change Wednesday, even though I do it on Sunday. Let's give this question and answer thing a go, guys. All right? Questioner says, I'm battling some purple slime algae. I'm pretty sure it's cyano. Cyano's tough, guys, to get rid of. In my experience, it usually crops up at the beginning of your tank's life, the first few months. So it doesn't necessarily mean you have bad parameters. It can come when you really have okay parameters. In my experience, the best way to get rid of it is quite honestly it's chemi clean will get rid of it in 48 hours I used to be a naturalist so I would try it the other way and I found that patience and water change is really the only way to get rid of cyano and it takes time sometimes you can have it for weeks and weeks uh, what I do is siphon off wherever it is during a water change if it's on the gravel I'll take some but you'll see then the next day it'll come back you can give that a try or use chemi clean it doesn't affect anything in your tank some people say well you know you're not you're not attacking the cause when you use that well I've used chemi clean and it's never returned so I really am not sure what the cause is but obviously Always test your parameters when it comes up to see if anything's out of whack. Or like in one of my other videos, see if you've done something differently. Did you skip some water changes? You know, have you been slacking in certain areas like that? All right? All right. Did you ever experience dinos? I have to say that in all the years that I have kept reef tanks, I never experienced dinos. I've always been an avid water changer, if you want to use those words. So I've always stuck to that. And I found that over the years, I've really never had a problem with dinos. I think once again, water change and patience, almost any problem you have, can be resolved with water change. That's the bottom line in my experience. All right, Carl asks, how much flow should I have in my 20 gallon reef tank? That's a great question. I don't like to put a gallons per hour on that, guys. You have to look at your tank and look at the corals and everything that's going on in your tank. So for example, in my tank, I know I have tremendous amounts of flow on the top where my return flow comes out. And it's blasting these corals up on the top, but they're growing and they seem healthy. The ones down below, which are getting less flow, these acros down here, they're growing, but at a slower rate. So you have to look at the whole aquarium. Don't worry about how many gallons per hour look at the flow look at what's happening with your soft corals you know are you you're blowing them all over the place or are they they look happy in my tank i have the mp10 in the back right corner i have it about 50 percent it's on a steady flow and you can see it's in the back and what it does is it pushes the water across the back my tank is an island so it can push it across the back, up the side here, and then around the front. And then by the time it gets here, it kind of slows down. And this is my soft coral area. And then it goes back. 
And then like I said before earlier, my return pump comes right off the top and down the front. So it causes a little counter current flow. So it runs it along the back and then up the side and the front. And then my return pump comes down the front of the aquarium. So I get a turbulent flow towards the front of the tank. You just have to trial and error, guys. That's all. All right, let's, uh, let's quit at those questions. I don't even know how this is going to be received with you guys, whether this is something you'll want to do. The way I'm thinking of it is, I guess you could email me at tomreefer1 at gmail.com with a question, or you could put a question on the comment. This is it for Water Change Wednesday. All right, guys, have a good one, and I'll see you Sunday. Take care. You should see it if I go all the way up here. Watch what it does. I'll show you. <laughs> Look at that. See, that's too much, obviously. My star polyps get blasted back there, but they don't seem to care at all. Look, it's growing up on that rock again. I'm going to have to get my scalpel in there and cut that off because that'll just overcome those acros up there. I already trimmed back again on the zinnia. Oh, look what this did. Ah, you're witnessing a, you're witnessing a problem, guys. It, <laughs>